Today we're here at the Boca Express Train Museum at the uh, old Florida East Coast Railway Depot here in Boca Raton, Florida. And uh, we are here doing a really exciting project to um, document a virtual tour, a three-dimensional photography essentially, um, of our historic rail cars. And these are two streamlined rail cars uh, constructed in 1947 that belong to the Historical Society and have been restored inside and out. There are two points uh, to documenting the cars uh, today. One is documentation uh, to uh, preserve for the future generations the uh, interior spaces in particular. Um, and this is very important uh, for me as the curator of the Historical Society and the steward of Boca Raton history uh, to document uh, our cars in a way that no amount of still photography can do. So we're applying a 21st century technology to 20th century technology, essentially. That's number one. Uh, number two is for our programming, of course. This will allow us uh, to bring the interior of the train cars, again, in a, a special and a modern way, in a way that an individual can really relate to uh, for our outreach programs, to share with educators and potential clients future members, our own volunteers, uh, and will act as a promotion uh, for um, visitors and members uh, of, of the Historical Society's facilities. We're here because um, of the importance of, of preserving historical sites. When our company was born, I had a vision that eventually, once we came to the point where we could um, pro bono, do pro bono work for historical societies, we would then use our technology to capture the space so that it's preserved for forever, for future generations, as well as provide them a service that they most likely wouldn't be able to afford on their own because of the limited funding. And I, I didn't want them to go by the wayside and to disappear out of, um, out of our lives like a lot of things do when it comes to older facilities and older structures. The, the way we're preserving it is we're using our proprietary technology that uses state-of-the-art 3D um, imaging with infrared, uh, and it allows us to capture the space virtually so that it composites. Uh, think of it like a, um, uh, a Google Maps for the inside of the car. It allows you to go through the car seamlessly or any, any structure, be it real space or whatever, um, uh, see whenever you want on any on any platform, so it can be accessed on mobile devices, tablets, PCs, um, and it's all it can be touchscreen based as well. So that's how we're preserving it, and we'll host it on our servers in California, so that they have complete access to it. This is it, it's an interesting subject because I feel that this will take the place of actually visiting things in the future. Um, it will supplement that for people who may be unable to visit because of you know maybe physical disabilities or just living too far away, um, especially when it comes to various education facilities like schools and universities or historians um, will be able to visit it and actually get a, a feel for what it is on the inside if they're unable to make the trip. And the way <clears throat> it, it could supplement, it could supplement actually visiting it. I don't want that to happen, but <laughs> it, it could um, eventually.